impossible, so I'm going to do it. Hey, back inside the treasure chest here, our delivery boy brought our stuff in. We went to an Amazon bin store today. I've never been to before. My mom and I went. It's called Treasure Depot. We didn't know it was there. I'm not sure when it, when it opened in our city here, but we just found out about it this week, and so we went to check it out. Today was $9 day. Everything was $9 each for each item. I didn't find anything like any $100 items. I got, you know, a few things. I don't know. I, for my first time, it was fun. I was excited to actually find some things, and so we'll see, we'll see what kind of profits we can make on it. I added it up to see what our potential profit should be, so I'll let you know at the end after I show you everything. I found this deck of Oracle cards, Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, 44 card deck and guidebook, still sealed in the box here, just one little deck of cards. Looked it up and goes for about $30 or so. I've heard before that Oracle cards and tarot cards can be good, so I've always just kind of kept that in the back of my mind. Uh, so looked it up and not, not bad for $9, I guess. Found a nursing theories and nursing practice uh, textbook or workbook here, fifth edition, still new, I think. Um, there's a code inside that hasn't been scratched off yet. Unlock your online student resources. So I looked this one up and that goes for about $40 or so, maybe a little less, you know, with time or whatever, but yeah, $40 for that, pay $9. What you building, buddy? Yeah. Found a PBS sealed DVD set, Country Music, a film by Ken Burns, volumes one and two, sealed box set here. And that goes for about $30. So. This one made me chuckle a little bit. TV Guardian for Curse Free TV. Mutes foul language from TV shows and movies. Not sure how that works, but was interesting. I looked it up and has sold for about $65. So yeah, that, I, I like that. That, that made me, that made me laugh. Would they work with YouTube videos? I don't even know how this works. I haven't, I haven't really looked at it too much. I just scanned it and saw what it goes for and got it. <laughs> but enjoy profanity free Cable TV and satellite TV, TV shows, movies, HBO, Stars, Showtime, etc. Most DVDs, I don't know, found a game, one deck dungeon, new sealed. It reminded me of Dungeons and Dragons at first when I saw it. I don't think it is, but just a sealed game, scanned it, comes up $26. Not huge profits with some of these things, but just being that they're sealed, new, that that makes it easy, quick to list, easy to ship, stuff like so. Still make some profit on it. We didn't have much luck selling games this year for Christmas. I, I remember last year for Christmas, maybe because of COVID, yeah. we sold a lot of games. I mean, we moved through a lot of them, but this year they didn't move very good. No, I mean, I mean we know. still got some new games we, that yeah. are priced pretty reasonably. They haven't moved yet. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, yeah, maybe just last year with COVID, people being more stuck in their houses and that, playing more games. Found a book, The Art and Soul of Blade Runner 2049. It's like an artwork book kind of thing. I haven't really looked through it much myself. I'm, I don't know anything about Blade Runner, but it seems pretty cool. The pictures and from the movies in that. It's got some damage to it. It's got some creases in the corners. It's got actually a little, a little rip, you know, on the back there. It is used. But pre-owned, it still goes for about $60 or so. So I picked that up for $9. Even, I mean, with the damage, I'll maybe start it at $50 and just take pictures, make sure everybody, you know, make sure they know about that and see what happens. All right, and last thing I got for resale value, I got a couple personal things too, but was this cord. I didn't know what this was. I tried sending a picture to Frank it was in a bag, so I couldn't really get a great picture. I tried showing them these plugs here, and you know we still weren't quite sure what it was. It's very heavy. So again, for nine dollars, I figured it should be something. You know, if it's not, we lose nine dollars, not the end of the world. But once we got it back home and Frank was able to look it up and figure out what it actually was. So it is a, what do we say, welding extension cord. 
uh, 25 feet, and uh, same one has sold for $77 free shipping. So, um, I don't know, maybe we'll just price it a little lower than that just to try to make it move faster. Hopefully we can get it to fit in a flat rate box or a regional rate box or something, maybe just because of the weight of it. I, I haven't weighed it to see what it actually weighs, but it is, it is pretty heavy. And we got a couple things for myself or for us. <laughs> Got, just found a little handheld vacuum. I've been just wanting to get a little handheld vacuum for home just to make things easier and not have to drag out the big old thing. Got a box of some wireless chargers, two wireless chargers, just for myself. I ran into a couple situations where my cord has stopped working and I don't have a spare cord and that sucks when it's my only phone charger. So the wireless chargers are nice to have, so I figured that would be good. And then they also had a section with some health and beauty things, some food items for lower prices, they had some clothes and shoes for different prices. Found some allergy medicine, Zizol, new in the box, not worth selling, but I do suffer from allergies in the spring and summer and fall. So figured uh, 55 tablets of Zizol for $3 isn't bad. So got that too. So I'd spent $60, a little over $60 with tax. I didn't do all the math, but $60 or so for all the items for resale and potential profit with trying to round down a little bit would be $280. So I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully, hopefully we can get these things sold quick and out of here, especially big heavy things like this. But yeah, I mean, even if I make $200, that's still great profit. So yeah, it was, it was fun. This was our first time going to an Amazon bin store. We liked it. We had fun with it. My mom is actually coming out again later this week and we're going to go on dollar day when everything left is a dollar. So we'll see what's left for dollar day, but we had a lot of fun with it. We went back to Treasure Depot for dollar day, see if we could find anything. A couple things, not sure how they'll sell. We'll see, but for a dollar each, not too bad. Found these cards. They're NFC cards, NS game cards. Not really sure what they were when I first saw them, but they, there was prices between $15 and $25 for these. I don't think they're new. I, I, opened, I opened the little poly bag and there's like a smudge on one of them. I'm not, not quite sure how they work. They might, I think they're like Amiibo cards or they go with the Nintendo Switch or something. But be $20 or so maybe for those. Found a couple of Blu-rays. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, new sealed, two of them. So I can do a quantity listing for that. And they go for... 10 to 14 dollars so nice easy listing found a textbook anatomy trains by thomas myers it is used i opened it once i got home uh, out of the poly bag there and the code inside has been scratched off so i'm not sure how that'll affect the selling rate all the ones that have sold were new and they sold between 60 and 80 dollars give or take so I don't know. I mean, we'll price it lower than that and see if we get any interest on it. I don't know. We'll see. But for a dollar, not a huge investment. Found a record. It is still new sealed, but not for me. And by Ahmad Jamal Trio. Uh, it looks like a jazz record. It's still new sealed, but the sleeve is bent a little bit in some of the corners. So I don't know. So that, that goes for about $20 or so new. So I, but maybe we'll try and sell it and hopefully it's okay in there. So yeah. All right, so I gotta run out of here. I gotta try to run back to Salvation Army. I stopped at today. I tried to buy a couple stuffed animals. The price wasn't there. They stick them right on the stuffed animal where they fall off. So they wouldn't sell it to me. It was like a $50 stuffed animal. I'm gonna try to go back and see if it was priced. So I gotta run. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching.